Tonight, the sheriff here says about half of those massacred were children. The youngest, just 18 months old. Eight members of one extended family gunned down while they prayed. In just minutes, great-grandfather Joe Holcomb told us he lost three generations, including his son Brian and Brian's wife, Carla. They were a family like no other because um, Brian and Carla would give you the, sh the shirt off their back if you needed it. They were always helping people. Debbie Boff has known the Holcombs for 30 years and says Brian Holcomb was so giving, he planned to donate this building where he'd run his small business to a nearby church. You don't run into people like the Holcombs every day. On Sunday, Brian was leading the First Baptist Church in prayer. He'd been filling in because the pastor was out of town. Then the shots rang out. Brian's wife, Carla, was killed. So was their son, Danny, and granddaughter, Noah, the 18-month-old. The day before the shooting, Crystal Holcomb bragged on Facebook about her daughters Emily and Megan, who'd done well in a 4-H competition. Crystal, who was pregnant, both girls and their brother Greg were killed. That, that's an incredible, incredible, devastating loss to this community. The church's pastor, Frank Pomeroy, and his wife, Sherry, lost their daughter, too, 14-year-old Annabelle. They rushed home when they heard the awful news. We lost more than Belle yesterday. And one thing that gives me a sliver of encouragement is the fact that Belle was surrounded yesterday by her church family that she loved fiercely. Our building is probably beyond repair. And the few of us that are left behind lost tragically yesterday. Joanne Ward and her children, Brooke and Emily, were also shot and killed. Another daughter, Rihanna, hid a bullet shattering her glasses, but she survived. So did her six-year-old brother, Ryland, who was shot multiple times. In this tiny town, population about 700, the loss is staggering. Whatever life brings to you, lean on the Lord rather than your own understanding. I don't understand, but I know my God does, and that's where I'll leave that. 20 people were wounded. The most serious rush to a hospital in San Antonio where an eight-year-old died from multiple gunshot wounds. Lester, tonight, at least 15 people are still hospitalized, including an adult and two children who are in critical condition. I know the people in this community are asking for the prayers of those folks. Thank you, Gabe. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.